students welcome to logic key today we are going to study about binary search tree this is an introductory video so till now we have covered trees and then we move to binary tree we saw insertion deletion traversal today we are going to study about special type of binary trees those are called binary search trees so we started with tree what is tree it's a non linear data structure which maintains hierarchical relationship parent child relationship so there was no restriction on the number of children it can have then we move to binary tree what's the condition of binary tree as its name suggests it can have at most two children not more than that and this holds for every node of that binary tree now we are studying about binary search tree so explicitly in its name you can see search so it is something related to search binary search tree now it's a binary tree so it holds the condition that at most any node can have two children apart from that there's one more condition what is that nodes key so if you are looking at any particular node let's say here in this example you are looking at 30 then all keys in the left subtree of this node should be lesser like these values like in the left subtree so left subtree of 30 is this only 10 right this its key or its value or its data should be less than 30 okay and the value in its right subtree for all the nodes should be greater than the value of this node okay clear left side smaller and right side bigger than this key so this is the additional condition so binary tree plus this condition makes binary search tree and this condition that i told you it holds for every node for 10 if there would have been two children here it should be less than 10 so what it can be let's say 5 it should be greater than 10 it could be 15 okay so this is an example of binary search tree now see this carefully for 30 all the nodes in the left subtree are smaller than 30 so i cannot place 50 here you're getting my point why why i cannot place 50 here for 10 this is smaller and 50 is greater so for 10 this is fine but for 30 in its left subtree which is this 50 is coming as greater than 30 so this cannot happen all the values for every node in the left subtree the value should be smaller and the right hand side it should be bigger so that's the condition of binary search tree this is another example you have 30 here it's this is its left subtree so 10 2 and 15 and this is its right subtree 45 42 and 50 so for 30 this condition is valid in the left side all the keys are smaller in the right side all the keys are bigger now we need to check for every node not just 30 we need to check this condition for every node see for 10 for 10 2 is smaller and 15 is bigger it's fine for 45 also it's 42 and it's 50 so for all the nodes we are following this condition since 2 15 42 50 are leaf nodes we need not to check for these as they don't have any left and right subtree so these were the examples now a very famous question that even i have seen on quora and multiple sites people ask what is the difference between binary tree and binary search tree so now you know the difference right what what's the difference it's just the difference of one condition what is that in the binary tree the only condition is it can have at most two children binary search tree apart from this condition there's one more condition Uh, about the value of your key all the left subtree should have smaller keys and all the right subtree should have greater keys as compared to your nodes key and this holds for every node so this question now you'll be able to answer what's the difference in binary tree and binary search tree so why this search in binary search tree because it is search optimized it means if you want to perform search on your elements this is going to give you faster results if it's a properly managed binary search tree called balanced binary search tree which we learn later 
then it gives the complexity as log n which is considered uh, an efficient algorithm for searching now this is clear why search because it is search optimized it is good in cases where we want to do searching of elements now second question is can't we do this with the help of array in array also what you can do you can store all those elements that you are storing in your binary search tree and then you can apply which algorithm which algorithm we use for searching in case of arrays efficient algorithm it is called binary search right now binary search also gives results in log n time so complexity is same in case of searching so why do we need tree instead of array answer is in tree if you remember insertion and deletion okay these are costly operation in case of array these are of big o of n but in case of binary search trees even insertion and deletion are also optimized and can be done in log n time that's why if you want to do searching as well as you want to do insertion and deletion of elements as well in that case binary search tree works really good so when you only have to do search operation you can use even arrays as well but if insertion and deletion can also be the thing in your case then binary search tree is more efficient so not this binary search tree that we are going to learn next in fact balanced binary search tree is best because in the worst cases also it can give you log n complexity so that's that you should know as when to apply binary search tree and when you can do the work with arrays as well so one more thing i wanted to tell you we have already studied binary tree so the representation uh, or the structure of it in memory is going to be the same we need to have the left reference data and the right reference apart from that traversals are also same so we have learned all type of traversal in case of binary tree be it uh, depth first traversal or breadth first traversals all are valid here as well i wanted to tell you one interesting fact about it suppose this is a binary search tree this is 30 10 5 12 45 okay 42 70 suppose this is your tree okay now you remember in order traversal what was the condition of in order traversal firstly we traverse the left subtree then the root and then the right subtree and this is valid for every node so here we will start with 30 So we cannot print thirty uh, without printing its left subtree. So we'll go to its left. We'll come to ten again. It has got a left subtree. So we'll go to five. It has got no left subtree. It will return and we'll print five. Then, then we'll go to right subtree again. Right subtree is null. So we'll track back to ten. So we have traversed left subtree of ten. So we'll print ten and then we'll go to its right subtree. Here we have twelve. We'll check its left subtree null. So we'll return and we'll print twelve. Then we'll check right subtree null. We'll return to ten. Then we'll return to thirty. So left subtree of thirty is done. So we'll print thirty. Then what we'll do? We'll go to right subtree. From forty-five, we'll check if there's anything in its left subtree. So yes, we'll go to forty-two. Is there anything in its left? No, so we'll print forty-two. Then we'll track back to forty-five since its left subtree is done. Then we'll go to right subtree. So there's nothing in left subtree of seventy. So we'll print seventy. Then we'll track back here and then here. So that's how we print it. So that's how we did the in order traversal. Now can you see something very important about this data? can i say that this data is sorted yes so when you do the in order traversal of your binary search tree you get sorted keys so that was one interesting fact i wanted to let you know that in order traversal if you do of a binary search tree you get a sorted list of keys so that was about introduction to binary search trees in so in the next class we will see how we can do searching in our binary search tree then insertion and deletion thank you thank you so much guys for tuning into logic heap 
If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.